What's up, guys? This is Trevor Polk. Uh, I'm sure y'all already know me by now if you're a member of Seven Figure Skills community. But uh, this is the Facebook Ads course for DSA 3.0. Uh, so we're going to be starting off really simple, going over what a Facebook ad is. Uh, even if you've run Facebook ads before, I recommend starting here. This is a good foundation. And some of this stuff, you know, you might have missed uh, whenever you were first starting out with Facebook ads. So, uh, yeah, I just want to show my face real quick so you all know it's me. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. So, let's start with first question. Why do you need to run Facebook ads? Why should you be running Facebook ads? So, number one, largest audience in the world. Seriously, there are billions of people on Facebook. Uh, it, it is literally that you could not have a bigger target audience. Um, you know, it, it really gives you the opportunity to market to basically anybody, anywhere. Um, you know, obviously there's people using Google, there's people running ads on Pinterest and things like that. But definitely, if you're looking to, to get into e-commerce, you need to know how to run Facebook ads. Um, Obviously, anyone and everyone has access to it, no matter what country you're from. Uh, if you have an internet connection, you probably have a Facebook account. Um, this one's actually really important too. Obviously, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are running Google Ads or have run Google Ads before, but the, the difference between Facebook and a lot of these other uh, you know platforms that you can run ads on is that this audience is someone you know you know people who engage with content a lot. People who like, share, uh, and you know, if you do it right, make purchases uh, from this audience. So it's it's different from Google, where you know sometimes when when people put a search into Google, they're already looking to buy a product. Um, with Facebook, you have to be a little bit smarter. You have to know how to market. You have to know how to uh, basically take someone from a social platform and convert them into a purchaser. Um, so it, it definitely is, you know a little different compared to other social platforms in that aspect. Um, obviously made for e-commerce, Facebook gives you so many tools that you can use to retarget and basically get the most bang for your buck uh, as long as you know you're familiar with the platform and you know what you're doing. Uh, obviously Facebook would love to take your money too and Facebook is a big fan of wasting people's money um, so you know that's why it's very important to know your strategy and know what you're doing. Um, and yeah, number one way to boost your conversions, like I was saying, retargeting is an extremely important uh, messenger. Uh, Facebook Messenger is by far the highest converting compared to email for sure, uh, you know, a way to communicate with a customer. Um, and yeah, you can build an identity and a relationship with your customers. So Facebook allows you to build a social identity around your business. Um, it's important to engage with your audience, engage with your customers, engage with your potential customers. And that, that's something that Facebook allows you to do that platforms like Google don't. Um, so yeah, what are you going to do to get started? Let's, let's see what we're going to be going over. So number one is we're going to open a Facebook account. Probably most of you already have a Facebook account, if I had to guess. Uh, so that, that should not be an issue. It's a personal profile. Um, if you're new to that, it's very easy to set up, but we're, we're probably going to skip that step in the whole setup process and go straight to creating a Facebook business page, which I will walk you all through in a later lesson. Um, this one is kind of just, you know, intro telling you what you're going to uh, be doing. Um, creating a Facebook business manager account. Obviously, you know, we have to do these in this order. Um, again, that's something I'm going to set up with you. Uh, creating an ad account. Again, doing this in the order, uh, you have to do it in this order. And uh, I will walk through all of this with you. And then finally, we're gonna learn how to run some ads. So uh, this is the introduction lesson. So obviously, uh, in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about what a Facebook ad is. Uh, after that, we're gonna go into setting up your accounts. Um, I'm gonna introduce you all to something called the Facebook Pixel and uh, Facebook Ad Structure 101. I'll, I'll walk through a bit the basic setup that we're going to do. Uh, on our Facebook ad campaign. So what is a Facebook ad? Let's dive into it. Um, these are two good examples of Facebook ads. Uh, obviously, you have what's over here, which is your traditional Facebook ad. You see the little sponsored uh, subtext underneath the name. 
Um, and obviously it's a video, you can see some engagements down here, people are actually interacting with this product. Uh, so that's probably the traditional Facebook ad that we're used to. This on the other hand is what looks like a DPA or product catalog. Uh, DPA stands for Dynamic Product Advertisement. Um, this is something which usually, in, in this case, it looks like retargeting, where um, basically this company, Made.com, would use the Facebook pixel to find what products you were looking at on their website, and then uh, using their ad budget, they would display uh, this advertisement to you specifically because you looked at that product on their website. Really intricate stuff, really kind of scary stuff, but from a marketing standpoint, it's awesome because we, we can basically hit our exact target customer, uh, you know, no matter where they go on the web. So what are you going to need? Obviously, we're gonna set up all our accounts and get a payment method installed. Um, we're gonna get a Shopify store or a ClickFunnel to send people to, or both. Um, you need to have research on your audience and the industry. Obviously, if you're, you're going into this industry, I'm hoping you did some research. I'm hoping you know who your target audience is and that you have some keywords in mind that we can use uh, for creating our ad sets. Uh, lastly, a uh, great video ad. I, I mean, you don't need this necessarily, but if you're trying to make some good money in e-commerce, you need to know that it, a lot of it comes down to fundamentals and knowing marketing. Uh, marketing, especially on a social platform, has to be engaging. You have to know who your target customer is, you have to know what the problem is that you're solving, and you need to market it as such so that you know your, your copy, your ad, your video, whatever it is, is centered around uh, solving a problem in your uh, target customers. You know, you know, basically, it, it, it's just good marketing. Um, so that's step one, obviously. Present the problem, provide the solution. Like I was saying, uh, your ad needs to solve a pain. Um, just like any business is created, it needs to be solving a pain. Um, lastly, storytelling, product engagement page, uh, you know, th these are all basically the, the puzzle pieces that are going to make your ad campaign effective. And if you don't have at least, you know, the majority of these, you need to go back to the drawing board before you start uh, running Facebook ads because you might, you know, end up wasting a lot of money if you don't. Um, so moving on. The uh, last thing you need to know are key performance indicators. You need to know how much you can spend to acquire a customer per product or on average. Um, a, a lot of you, I'm hoping if you went through the supplier section of the course, uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you know what map pricing is. I'm hoping that you know uh, that you should have margins of at least 15-20% on your products so that you can have a little bit of wiggle room on what you can spend on your ad budget. Um, so just keep that in mind. You have to know all these factors of your site to know how much money you're actually making. It's important to document that. Uh, Facebook does help out a lot. Google Analytics helps out a lot. But yeah, so that, that's basically what we're going to dive into uh, moving forward. And that's it for lesson 1.1. I, I hope this was engaging for y'all. I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, I promise that the content is going to get a lot more uh, intricate and engaging moving on. So uh, looking forward to it. I'll see y'all in the next lesson.